Welcome back to the channel, guys. I know it's been a hot minute. I have been MIA for several weeks now. And I apologize about that. It's been it's been a minute. Um trying to get used to my son in school. Um we're used to being home, but it's just trying to get him back into the school mentality. Um, he had a long summer break, as most of our children have, and he just does, he has all the things that he wants to do and doesn't want to do any of the things that he needs to do. <laughs> But we're getting that taken care of. Getting used to my husband's ever-changing shifts. Um, one week he works day shift. Next week he works swing shift. The week that he works swing shift, he is off um, on Saturdays and Sundays. And the week that he works day shift, he works on Saturday. And now that sports are back in session he is a um, big sports fanatic anybody who know, has watched my previous videos knows that I've talked about my husband being very passionate about sports and having the seasons cut short in the beginning of the year with the pandemic he was missing his sports a lot, and now they're back. So, um, I diamond paint in the same room that he watches his games on. So, it's a little difficult for me to do lives or do any recordings with him um, sitting here watching TV. I'd probably get YouTube strikes every five minutes um, I'd have yeah my videos would be taken down because he's he's um, quite passionate and quite boisterous while he's watching his games so I won't record while he's home or at least a week um, during the weeks that he works during the day I try to get my housework done and that's also my kind of quiet time for myself. But this is his week that he works the night shift. So I am, well, it's not nights. It's, he goes in at 1130 in the morning and he works till 1130 at night. So um, I'm going to try to get as many record, videos recorded as I can this week and just have them ready to put up for next week. Um, right now I'm currently working on, sorry, I should have said that in the beginning, currently working on Cassia by Diamond Art Club for Drills and Chills 2020. I just completed my Quiet Cove, also Diamond Art Club, um, for... Chuck Along 2 with it that um, Mindy's Diamond Moments and Kiss My Crafts are hosting. It's It started September 1st and it runs through to the end of the month. I was planning on doing um, whipping chats while I was working on that, but like I said, it's been, it's been quite hectic around here. I started it September 1st and I finished it between, it was sometime between the 19th and the 20th that I finished it because um, with the time difference and the time that I actually finished it opposed to getting the picture posted and all that, I think it ended up being after midnight when it got posted. So, but that is done. Now, um, I planned on doing both of them at the same time, but I just got 
I mean, I was spending hours at a time on um, Quiet Cove, and I just thought, you know, it's a lot of setup to switch everything around. It was a large painting, had three containers, um, Harbor Freight containers of drills. So, yeah, it was just easier to work on one at a time. That way I didn't have to take one off the dra off my drafting table, put the other one up, find a place to put it, you know, while I was working on this one, and then switch back and forth. Yeah, so I, I just did one at a time. And I also had more time to complete the Drills and Chills um, DP than I did the... Um, Chuck along too, because Chuck along just ran through the month of September. Drills and chills, you were given um, roughly two months. It began September 1st, and I think it runs either ends October 30th or October 31st by the time you have to have your um, completed painting. I will link both um, channels below in the description box on where these events are taking place. Um, it is a bit, I'm sure it's a bit too late for anybody to, um, start on the check along too, but this is something that there will be more check alongs with Mindy and Kiss My Crafts. So if you missed it this time, um, keep an eye out, subscribe to Mindy's channel and Kiss My Crafts channel and keep an eye out because I'm sure that there's going to be one more before the year end and I know there'll be future ones moving forward um, so yeah it was fun I always enjoy um, doing the the chuck and logs chuck alongs excuse me Chuck Pinson is my favorite artist I have lots of favorites but he is hands down the foremost favorite um, artist I love landscapes I am learning to love squares, which I never thought would happen. Um, it took a while. I've been diamond painting now um, about 18 months, a little more than 18 months. And yeah, I, I wasn't real fond of squares, but I challenged myself to buy more squares than rounds which meant I was going to either not diamond paint or I was going to learn to love them, love the square diamond paintings, and I have. As a matter of fact, I think my last three completed diamond paintings have been square, so it was time for a round. Um, so that is why I chose Cassia for my Drills and Chills 2020. And in saying about... Um, finding love in square diamond paintings. I have seen a lot of questions being asked on YouTube, or I mean, excuse me, on uh, Facebook and Instagram about, you know, how, how to get through squares. I don't need this there, sorry about that. Oh, why, every time I move something, yep, that's gotta stay. It gives the, it gives the camera something to focus on. The light, I really have, I think, has a big effect on... Let me see if I put these here. Hold on a second. I get the flicker if I don't have something there. Yep, see? Yeah. <clears throat> there. My focus on this camera is bad. But, um... I've seen a lot of questions concerning squares. I'm going to put that back there because then that way it does not. <clears throat> there, I'll use ones that I'm working on. How's that? Sorry about that, everyone. Um, where was I? Oh, I've seen a lot of people asking about, you know, the best way of laying squares down. We got new, either new diamond painters or new to squares um, or who have been working on they're you know, trying to do squares for uh, 
decent amount of time and still couldn't find, you know, how to, to feel comfortable with them or how to make them work. So I, considering the fact that I swore I would never like square diamond paintings and I was never going to do them, the ones that I had, I was going to sell. Oh yeah. I, I went on a, I was going to boycott all square diamond paintings. But the challenging myself and finding different ways, trying different ways, I used a, um, just a cheap Amazon diamond painting and I practice on it. Um, fortunately it was like really cheap. I only paid $2.99 for it. Therefore I was able to, I didn't feel so bad buying it not being something that I, it's kind of like a test, uh, test painting. I tried laying them different directions. If they were crooked, then I knew what I needed to do. I didn't go back to recorrect them. I also have another one that's a real cheap one I'm going to use as a tutorial for squares. Um, different methods of laying the squares down, whether it's using multi-placer, single placer, tweezers, um, doing them just following you know, your normal path of laying down drill side by side opposed to um, checkerboard, um, laying them down, a certain amount of them, checkerboarding them, and then filling in the checkerboard but leaving an open spot like here. Let me see, let me use my tweezers. This would be a section where, um, right here, I know it's hard to see. Let me see if I can bring this a little closer. One second here. Okay, this here is a section. Uh, that's a small color block section, but I would do a full row doing the checkerboard. Or I mean, like every other one. Then I would would touch this row. Then I would go ahead and do every other one on this one. So I would have two full rows here, and then I would multi-place the second, uh, the center row. So I'm going to go ahead and do that video. Hopefully it'll be up soon. Um, but I want to just get on, chit chat with you for a little while, let you know there are things that are going to be coming down the pipe. On the channel, I do have two unboxings that I will be doing videos on this week. I'll be actually recording the videos. One is a Diamond Art Club unboxing. It's I purchased it two weeks ago, came in. I just left it upstairs. I haven't even opened the box yet that it came in. I will also be doing a unboxing review for another diamond painting company that I just received the box or the painting on Sunday. Um, so that'll be going up this week as well as I did not, I couldn't wait to open it and I didn't have time to do a video, but I did get the Everlasting Tips. Oops. So I have an Everlasting Four Placer and an Everlasting Single Placer. So I'm going to talk about this in another video that will focus just on that. What else is going on? Um, excuse me. Hang on one second. need to grab something. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. A few seconds for you. About an hour for me. I went to take care of something and got myself involved in other things. But now that I am back, I have some information. Myself and another creator are going to be starting a little weekly series. It'll be a little segment once a week. And I will have um, the creator's channel information in the description box below. But beginning this Thursday at 10 p.m. Pacific time, Tia and I will be doing a night sessions. It'll be every Thursday at 10 o'clock. Um, I said 10 p.m. Pacific time. And we will be 
discussing each week we'll have a different topic that we'll be discussing so that will begin this Thursday I will go ahead like I said link Tia's information below in the description box so you can make sure to subscribe to her channel so you won't miss our night sessions um, this is gonna be a lot of fun we've talked about this um, doing this for a little while now and now we're finally getting a schedule made for it so one week it'll be on her channel the following week it'll be on my channel and we'll just be we'll have one topic each week we will give um, one she'll give me her opinion on that said topic I will give my opinion on said topic and then there'll be answers and questions for you all um, to leave in the comments and then we will respond um, to those comments so that's going to be something that we'll be starting um, again it'll be this week Thursday September 24th at 10 p.m. Pacific time it'll be on my channel this week to kick it off and then next Thursday it will be on Tia's channel so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I look forward to that let's see what else is going on so I mentioned that I have an unboxing review that I'll be doing and then I have an unboxing of a purchase that I made I also um, made a purchase it's I'm not gonna have it for like four to six weeks or longer but that it'll be a new new company that um, it's not a new company but it's new to me um, so that'll be coming up I see what else is going on I'm thinking here <laughs> that that break kind of threw me off of uh, my game here I thought I knew what I was doing oh also um, crafting journey with Rebecca I think is her YouTube channel she has a book club that she does so they did the first book was Midnight Sun I bought the book I haven't read it I'm gonna be honest I got to the 11th page and I don't know I might be able to read it eventually but now is not it's not gonna happen now it's too slow for me um, I could not even get through the first chapter and I was already so bored with it. I was rereading the same sentences over and over because I was just like, did I miss something here? So eventually I will read it, but it's off to the side right now. I haven't been doing a lot of reading lately because I was trying to get the Quiet Cove finished for the Chuck Along 2020. Cause like I, I mean, uh, Chuck Along 2, excuse me, because that was only a 30 day. Um, event and the quiet cove was a large painting so i wanted to make sure i got it done in plenty of time so i haven't been doing any reading um but they have finished the with the book club they finished the midnight sun and they are going to be starting a new book so i will link um rebecca's facebook page <clears throat> to this if you're interested in joining a book club I guess it's gonna be a, a book a month or depending on how big the book is I think that they're trying to keep it one book a month um, and you'll read X amount of chapters a week and then they have a zoom meeting where they discuss the book so if that's something you might be interested in um, I will link her information in the description box and you can go check out her Facebook page as well as her her YouTube channel Rebecca does a lot of different stuff um, so there's that um, also I do have my PayPal account set up now I've had a lot of people ask me to list that so my PayPal link will be in the description box <coughs> um, there's a lot of people that's reached out that wanna you know help me out with the channel and since I'm not you know don't have my subscriber count and my 
view count yet and a lot of people have asked well how can I you know help you so I didn't want to do that but if there, there's been enough people that have mentioned it that I will go ahead and list that now um, I am not listing my address though for anything um, if you want my address to send me something or what have you then you will need to private message me that or email me requesting that and then I will send that information to you um, after the first of the year I have thought about getting a PO box but I've just I've got to I've got to check that out so so yes my PayPal link will be in the description box below as well as my email so if you want to reach out to me um, you can reach me through email or you can instant message me on Facebook if you are um, a member of my group so let's see here let me find a symbol here or a color here that you work on um, I'm probably this one seems to be I don't know this particular painting this Cassia I probably won't get this one done in time I mean I have plenty of time but I don't know I'm not feeling this one like I was the Chuck Pinson quiet cove but it just might be because I've got a lot on my mind right now there's um I have so many things in my brain that I want to do and you know I'm needing <clears throat> I've thought about doing a giveaway for a subscriber count it's just trying to get this I am 31 subscribers away from 400 so I thought about doing a um, I spy in my videos you know I spy something in my eye that would be something um, in a video and you would have to tell me what you know like I have I do like you know four weeks or you know X amount of weeks of I spy and there'd be something in each video that you would have to pick what that specific item was and each week I would add to it so you would have to be able to tell me what was in each video for the four weeks let's say so let's say it's four weeks so I think about doing that for the month of October that on the very last video you would tell me what additional item was added each week so let's just hypothetically say week one there was a blue ball week two there was a purple ribbon week three there was a candy bar week four there was a can of soda each week I would add those things to it so week one it would just be the blue ball week two it would be the blue ball and the purple ribbon week three it would be the blue ball the purple women purple women purple ribbon and the candy bar and week four it would be the blue ball the purple ribbon the um, oh my gosh Let, let's just say all four things I lost I just totally lost train of thought I don't know what's wrong with me so blue ball purple ribbon um, candy bar and can of soda each you know so for, like I said week one blue ball week two would be blue ball and purple ribbon week three would be blue ball purple ribbon and candy bar and week four would be blue ball purple ribbon candy bar and can of soda they'd all be on my um, drafting table you would see these items and then you would just comment of all the items that you've seen and I would not start out my video with it you would it would you know maybe the first video I would start with the item 
the second video, the item would be there, but something else would be added later into the video. And it would be, you wouldn't know when I'm going to add that item. It would just appear there out of nowhere. So then um, after week four, then you would comment in that specific video what items you've seen. And then the following week, I would do a, I would check, make sure everybody had the correct items. And I would do a random comment, pe comment picker and choose a winner. So, um, this will be, and I said, none of those items I mentioned will be on there. You will not see any of those items. They were just examples. So, trying to hit my 400, and I'm hoping to have my 500 before the end of the year. Um, at 500, I will be ha having two giveaways. One will be for inter international subscribers and one will be for US subscribers. So the sooner I get to 500, the sooner I can have my giveaway. So at this time, I'm going to ask that everybody you know, share my um, channel link and give me a thumbs up and or give me a thumbs down either way it's helpful it still shows recommendations <clears throat> um, in starting next year 2021 I have and then little event that I'm going to be doing. It's just going to be a, a whip and chat type event. There's not going to be prizes or anything like that. It's just going to be focusing on the new year, new beginnings, new ideas, and a new diamond painting for me. So I'm trying to get as much done, um, with my already starts, I have like four or five whips that I have laying upstairs that I need to get completed. As well as um, there's going to be different um, collaborations and events that I'll be doing through the rest of this year for the holidays. So um, I won't be starting on anything new until a holiday DP is started whether it's be a winter scene or Christmas scene. So I, I've got that going on and I'm going to be starting to read the book in the book club. And we just picked the book over the weekend. So this is the perfect time for anybody who is interested in reading in the book club to go ahead and, um, stop in, um, Rebecca's Facebook page and they're I think they've already announced what book it's going to be this first meeting we're going to just be kind of going over the synopsis and stuff like that and picking the chapter count so I'm going to be trying to limit my diamond painting at night so I have a cutoff point where I put my diamond painting away I go get a hot cup of tea or a hot cup of cocoa or something um, if it starts cooling off at night here and going upstairs and climbing in my bed and reading um, so I can I mean I love to read I just haven't been feeling it and I think it's part of the year this it's this season that gets me because I just feel, I like to read when I'm in a really comfortable, relaxed state of mind, physically and mentally, I should say. And when it's hot, I can't get comfortable. So I, I struggle with that. Um, I'm also going to be starting um, to get back to watching Netflix. I still am watching Criminal Minds series. 
because I haven't been watching anything lately, so I'm still in that series, and I need to get it done so I can move on to something else. But there's a new series on, on Netflix coming up. I just got notified of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me find it here. And is today the first day of spring? Or I mean fall? Not spring, fall. Oh my goodness. Or was yesterday the first day of fall? But whichever day is happy fall to anybody who likes fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. Um, fall and winter. Um, I like fall when it's going closer into winter. So I like the end of fall, beginning of winter. I love the change in colors. You know, the leaves and just the cool, crisp air. So that is why I enjoy reading at those times because I want to be snuggled up with something good. So I'm either snuggled up with a good book or I'm snuggled up with a good TV series or movie. But there are some um, Netflix series that I'm going to be, that I look forward to starting. One of them, well, this is a film that I'll be watching. It's a Nola, Enola Holmes. Um, I want to watch that. It's a suspenseful, you know, suspense mystery. Uh, it says, while searching for her missing mother, interpret teen Enola Holmes uses her sleuthing skills to outsmart big brother Sherlock and help a runaway lord. So that I would definitely want to watch. There is... The American Murder, The Family Next Door, that will be coming out September 30th. Uh, it's using raw, first-hand footage, this documentary examines the disappearance of Shannon Watts and her children and the terrible events that followed. So I definitely want to watch that. Uh, there's a new series, The Haunting of Bly Manor. That comes out October 9th. I will be watching that. So Dead Doesn't Mean Gone. And... Au pair blunges into an abyss of chilling secrets in this gothic romance from the creator of The Haunting of Hill House. Let's see what else is coming. There is this uh, film called Hoobie Halloween. kind of want to check that out and see what that's about. I'm not sure. If it's, you know, for kids or if it's a family type thing. But I'm going to look into that. Let me see. I need to put reminders on some of these things. Or I'm going to forget because, yeah, that's that's my life. I forget. Let's see here. And then Evil. Season 1 comes October 1st. It's a forensic um, psychological thriller. A forensic psychologist partners with Catholic priests in training to investigate miracles and demonic possessions in his supernatural in this supernatural drama. So that's what I'm gonna be looking into. Checking that out. There was another one that I got a notification on. I can't find it. I'm trying to see if I can find it. A Perfect Crime, that's one that I would like to check out. It's a docu-series, investigates the 90, 1991 killing of political Deltev Rod, Rohad Wedler. I can't, Rohad Weeder, I can't pronounce that. An unsolved mystery at the heart of Germany's tumulus reunification. So that looks good. Unfriended. It's another one on Netflix that I will be checking out. 16 who used cyberbullying, drove their classmate to kill herself, become the target of an online stalker with a lethal agenda. Let me see here. I know there's another one. I don't know why I can't find it. Where is it? And like I said, I received this notification through an email, and I know that I want to watch it, but I can't find where it is. But there's going to be a lot of um, Netflix series and 
movies that I'll be watching that I will be talking about um, during my whipping chats. And, you know, if you are watching any of those at the same time, then, yeah, we can, sh we can talk about it. But I will be, um, trying to have some good content coming here. Yeah, I can't find it. But once I find it, then I'll make sure to pop in on one of my other videos and add to it. So there's that. And then reading. I'm going to have start my Goodreads book list for the beginning of the year. I'm not going to try and read any of those books now because I won't meet my goal as I planned this year because I did not read. So I'll be starting book list for next year on Goodreads, setting a reason. I'm going to send a, or set a very small goal for how many books I plan on reading next year, as well as how many diamond paintings I plan on doing next year. Um, I can't remember how many diamond paintings I said that I was going to do this year, but I think it was 26. I'm pretty sure I set a goal of 26. And I've got to get a count on how many I have completed. So I've kind of lost count. Because last year I completed 19. From February to the end of last year. And this year <clears throat> I, I knew that I would probably do more than last year because one, I didn't have as, you know, I've been buying them and, and stashing them, but also, um, I was slower diamond painting last year than I am this year. You know, I was new last year, so I was still learning the ropes and now I wouldn't say I'm a master, but because I'm still not that fast. It, people think that I was really fast on um, Quiet Cove. And I guess maybe in a way I was. <clears throat> but it's it was confetti heavy. And I just have learned to move faster on confetti than I used to. And I, I haven't been watching anything. I've been listening to stuff. I've got podcasts that I'm listening to now. So that will be something that I will talk about. Um, we talk about my podcasts. I said I've got three videos that I want to put out this week, so um, I've got to save some things for the other videos. <clears throat> but if there's anything that you watch on Netflix, you know, drop that in your comments below, and give me, you know, don't tell me what's happening. Obviously, I don't want no spoilers, but. Tell me what you think of it um, and see if it's something that I might be interested in or you could, you know, tell me, no, don't watch it or, you know, or maybe put that on the bottom of your list. I want something that's going to grab my attention. It's going to be interesting. I don't really do a lot of fantasy watching. I like more the crimes, the thrillers, the suspense. So, yeah, any movies or um, Netflix series, yeah, give me some ideas, books that you have read or may want to read. Um, question of the day, how many diamond paintings have you completed this week, or this week, this year, and... What was your favorite diamond painting that you have completed to this point of 2020? Yes, um, cross stitch is still something that is eventually going to be coming to the channel. I need to figure out how to um, put my cross stitch. I got a stand, a cross stitch stand, and it did not come with any instructions on how to put it together. Yeah, it was a box of wood 
but and wooden hardware, but no instructions at all. There was not even not one piece of paper in there. So I need to figure out how to put that together so I can try and start watching some tutorials on that. <clears throat> um, this week's kind of a busy week. I have my son has an eye doctor's appointment at 115 tomorrow, which is going to be Wednesday the 23rd. Shoot. Um, I thought I had that up high enough and I didn't. Um, and then he has, but before that, he has a Google Meets meeting with his chemistry teacher. I think it's his chemistry teacher. I'm pretty sure that's chemistry. To help him with a couple of assignments that he's struggling with. Um, and then at four o'clock, I've got to take my dog to the groomers because he needs a nail trim and he will not let me trim his nails, which I don't like to trim dog's nails anyway, because, well, he has all black toenails. So, or all, you know, his paws and toenails are all black. So I can't see where the quick is and I don't want to hurt him. Plus, I don't like just to cut them. I like them to be rounded and filed off so they don't snag on anything. So I will be taking him to do that. And I have to go to the store and pick up lunch meat for my husband because I went grocery shopping. On, Saturday, on Sunday, I went grocery shopping. And then yesterday, I went and picked up a few things that I had missed. And I still forgot to get lunch meat. And... He has enough lunch meat for tomorrow's lunch, but that's it. So, yeah, I've got to do that tomorrow. And then get myself back here and settled in for the day or evening so I can be on Tia's live, or not be on her live, but watch her live tomorrow night. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. We are hoping to meet up one day this week, me and Tia and her mom. So hoping that ends up happening. I'm very anxious to meet them. Let's see, what else? Is there anything else? Oh, I got some new washi tape yesterday from Walmart. I love this. It's I don't know if you're seeing the color or not, but it is if it, it's purple or like a violet. Yeah, it's a violet, and it is pretty. I love it. And it's got that Aurora Borealis holographic type um, appearance to it. So, yes, that there is going to go on this when it's going to be part of my finish. And I'm also going to be adding, this only had two um, AB, AB drills. It has um, 128, which is a pink. These, oops, these are the ABs that came with this. Um, let me pour some in a tray so you can see them. Yeah, so these are the ABs that came with this painting. Oh, for goodness sakes, I can't really. I don't think, yeah, they, yeah, I think you're seeing them a little bit. I think I'm going to turn this light off. Yeah, there it is. So this is DMC 128. <clears throat> and then this one also has 141, which I don't have a green tray, so I'm not going to pour those ones out there. But there's not a lot of 141s. It's a very small amount compared to a lot, you know, some. I actually think I added my ABs from my other, um, from one of my other rounds to this. But, so I'm going to be adding more ABs, uh, more of the 141 ABs to it. And then I'm also, 210 is one of the DMCs in this painting. So I am going to add the 210 ABs. They didn't come as ABs, but I'm going to add them as ABs. So I've got that. These are TMOS drills. Oh, let's see. What else? I thought about adding 
another color, but I don't, I don't know, because I'm just going to have to wait to see. I would have liked to have added the black ABs to this, but I don't know. I might add the ABs to the black ABs to maybe her arm strap, her armband, I mean, or um, maybe to the maybe the bats that might be something I might do I, I, I don't really know yet I'm kind of going as I'm going I'm kind of figuring it out pumpkin it's fall pumpkin is my favorite fall um it's actually my weakness yeah I I love pumpkin I love pumpkin pie I like pumpkin rolls um, I'm not big on pumpkin coffee or coffee creamer though. It it does not taste like pumpkin, but I do love pumpkin pie, pumpkin jelly rolls. I just got Swiss Miss, or I mean not not Swiss Miss, Little Debbie, um, pumpkin the little pumpkin rolls that come in the, the little snack boxes. I got those the other day. Um, my son wants me to make pumpkin pancakes for him. <clears throat> excuse me, the Pioneer brand um, comes in a pack and it's pumpkin spice pancakes. So, yeah, the, those are my sweet indulgences for the fall as well as chai tea. Um, any kind of tea in the fall. I love hot tea. I love to try different flavors. I'm, gonna, I'm looking to try and find a sampler um, box of herbal teas and if I can find one then I will be kind of doing a I'll unbox it here on on my channel and then each time I meet you know I'm doing a, a whip and chat I'll have a cup of tea in the evening and I can tell you what it is and tell you my thoughts on that but I think that's going to be all for today I, there's so many things I want to talk about but I can't think and I need to eat. I think that's probably my problem as I'm hungry. I need to eat. So, again, please um, hit the subscriber button so you are notified every time I put up a new video. Please hit the like button and please, if you wouldn't mind, please share the, the link so we can get to 400 so I can have my giveaway my first giveaway and by hitting 400 that gets me closer to being able to have my second giveaway of 500 subscribers and then keep building from there um, check out the description box below because there will be all the links for the pages that Facebook groups I've talked about and the YouTube channels that I've talked about in this video as well as there'll be links to Diamond Art Club for the painting. I don't know if Cassia is still on available. It may have been one that's discontinued, but if the link is not there, then that means that Diamond Art Club is no longer carrying this diamond painting. But I am going to check and see here. And yes, Diamond Art Club is still um, carrying Cassia and it is available at the time of me recording this video. It is not up for pre-order and it is not out of stock. It is actually available. So I will have this in the description box below the link to this and till next time y'all have a great day and thanks for stopping by till next time. Take care.